So I've been using Calyx OS for a while now. Been through a few updates. I've been using the beta channel of it. Oh, more recently because it's gotten a few more updates. But it really hasn't been painful. So kind of like first off, some people it's like, well, YouTube app and this, that and the other. And it's like a lot of people tell you, like, you don't need the YouTube app. So I've been pretty comfortably using New Pipe Sponsor Block. I do have the regular New Pipe installed, but New Pipe, oh, Sponsor Block, pretty comfortably with it. I can sit here, I can refresh all my stuff, and it plays in the background and things like that. I've kind of gone over like the New Pipe stuff before. The bookmarks work pretty well, but yeah. <clears throat> and then outside of that, I basically use um, Fennec for my oh youtube website viewing so it's really not that bad because on top of that i also had have the add-ons that i've been over already installed in it so like youtube really isn't too uncomfortable although i think a lot of my walkie time on my phone has kind of dropped somewhat too, but yeah. I do have a fair email installed for my emails. I don't think I've gone over that before, but for certain email stuff, if I need to check it, I can from here in fair email. It's pretty simple to set up. They've got a nifty wizard to help you with it. I've had three different camera apps installed on here as well. So I do use my phone for the occasional camera thing. Well, this one, the Pixel. Um, I do have the Google camera installed, but I generally stay away from that one for the most part. So I've got the secure camera, which is the camera app that Graphene OS uses. And it's available in the Play Store, which means you can install it from Aurora Store. Get a good finger going on or a site up there. Um, does come with a QR scanner, which I've used a couple times, along with other barcodes but, and video. Um, sometimes debatable on how well it does. But then there's also, of course, the default camera app that comes with Calyx and works pretty well. This is, let me see if, gallery. This is kind of the result of what it looks like, pretty much, just once. So yeah, not that bad, really. I mean... Turns out pretty well. But yeah. So the next thing, I do have like a number of chat applications installed. Oh. oh. <clears throat> Again, oh, the thing that I've noticed more importantly with it is that when installing from Aurora Store, any of the paid apps that I've paid for don't quite sync up with my account to connect that, hey, I've paid for the features in this app. And so for some reason, it doesn't want to work. So that is, that's one thing that I've noticed with it. So even some of the games don't quite work because, of course, oh, Play Games isn't connected very well with Micro G. But yeah, most of the other apps that are free work pretty well. So let's see, what is one such? Um, yeah, I don't really have anything. I only have a couple of apps installed and those are like my church apps that I have installed through the Google Play Store. So most everything else has been picked up through F-Droid pretty much. So, and Calyx did add a work profile thing for like 
profiling things around. Oh, Steam. I installed Steam from the Google Play Store because you can't get an F Droid. So again, it's fully functional, pretty much. You just log in and do your thing in Discord as well. Easy to forget about some of those, I guess, in Group Me. Those are about the only ones. Everything else is pretty much F Droid, including Endless Sky here. I don't really have that many games installed on here because I used to play a lot of games on my phone, and usually it was like older ones like KOTOR or retro games, but most of that has been taken up by other devices that sometimes I'll pack around or whatever. But for the most part, yeah. Again, the one thing I would look out for is the Roar Store doesn't seem to always sync things in properly. I mostly use Droidify for my updates, for my F-Droid apps. I still have F-Droid installed just in case, but for the most part, that's kind of been my go-to for it. So, pretty easy. So, some of the things that... When I was working with the original Pixel o OS was the theming. They finally added this like color selector thing that is in the Pixel by default otherwise. So yeah, you can ch pick between basic colors or their trichrome whatevers or dual colors, whatever. So you, you've got a few of those options. It pretty much bases it off of your choice of wallpapers for the most part, the colors that it's going to pick out. So other than that, everything else is pretty much the same, I believe, from the last time. Uh, yeah, there are some apps in here that I have installed for testing purposes that I haven't messed around with too much. So my ebook readers, I've had KO Reader installed for quite a bit, but there were some weird text issues that I've run into, so I've installed Librera for that. So I've got a whole library of ebooks on on here. So yeah, I it works pretty well from what I've been able to gather so far from using it. So I still have more experience to mess around with it to see how well it does. But it's actually really good so far. And it does its job pretty competently, obviously. I do have multiple browsers installed. Opera GX for like just in case, because I still play Halo on occasion. And I watch YouTube in the background when I do that. So that kind of like lets me nag things over between the computer and here. I know, really dumb. Um, Mulch is another Chromium fork, of course. I can't remember which one it's for. I think it's from Graphene, possibly. But, oh, what? Or it's based on Bromite, one of two. Let me... We can look at that, I think. Input. Not what I wanted. About mulch. Yeah. But, of course, Calyx Chromium is based on bromite. So, we can... Look at that. So it's forked off of Bromite and blah, 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 what have you. Firefox Focus. I don't really use that that much, Brave, for my social media stuff because there are some activities that still use Facebook heavily, and that's pretty much the only reason I go and look at it is for, like, getting updates for certain, like, church function things that because they don't publish it in any other channels, really. Other than that, yeah, I've got my Weeb stuff and 
weather and whatnot, podcasting through AntennaPod. Yeah. So, I have Mr. So, the two main music players that I've been using on it have been A Player and the default music app. A Player for the most part, and then I'll go into music on occasion when I am wanting to listen to something in order because I'm kind of lazy and don't want to like tap that unshuffle thing. It's like, ah, two. I can have two different places in my music and be fine. So. Mostly for, like, driving is when I play the music, so halfway distract my mind so that I'm not picking up my phone half the time. But, yeah, I think that's everything that I've gone over for, like, th this is basically my extended experience with it, so yeah. I don't remember how long it's been. Let me see, snippetippity. When did I upload that video? Come on. Browser. Oh boy. Also, as some may have noticed, my community tab did unlock, which is pretty cool. Apparently, because I'm in the, oh, advanced. Signed in up with the advanced features oh it unlocked it for me at like almost 300 or a little bit early I don't know why but yeah that that was something it normally it's 500 subscribers but yeah here we are so yeah it's been almost two months is what it is. Probably two and a half months, just about. So yeah, that's how long I've been messing around with this pretty much and using it. And it really has been a pretty smooth experience. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Algorithm really seems to like that. And it actually helps it get directly out to more people. And you can even join the chat and interact when I'm not online or what have you in Discord, Gilded, XMPP, and check out my my streaming stuff. Links are all in the description places, and I will see you guys later.